Hi there and welcome to my another video where we're gonna see 10 ways to optimize cost in AWS. For those totally unfamiliar with AWS, let me tell you, it stands for Amazon Web Services and it is a cloud computing platform that provides a variety of services for businesses and individuals. While it can be a useful and powerful tool, it can also be very expensive if not properly managed. So without further ado, let's deep dive into 10 ways you can optimize cost within your AWS accounts. First thing first, use the right instance type. Different instance types have different costs and specifications. So it's important to choose the right one that best fits your need. Secondly, use reserve instances if possible. These are instances that you pay upfront for a set amount of time and they can save you up to 75% compared to on-demand instances. You can also use spot instances. These are the instances that are available at a discounted price, but keep that in mind. They can be terminated by AWS if the spot price goes above your bid price. Try to use auto scaling. This will allow you to automatically increase or decrease the number of instances based on demand, which can help you avoid overpaying for idle resources. Also use AWS free tier if possible. AWS offers a free tier for certain services. So make sure to take advantage of it if it fits your needs. Also turn off unnecessary instances. If you have instances that you are not using, make sure to turn them off to avoid paying for them. Use cost optimization tools. AWS offers a bunch of tools like Cost Explorer and Trusted Advisor, which can help you identify and optimize areas where you can save money. Also use right storage class for your Amazon S3 buckets. In Amazon S3, different storage classes have different costs based on durability. So make sure to choose the one that best fits your needs. Use data transfer and data transfer out discounts. AWS offers discounts for transferring data within the network and to the internet. So make sure to advantage of this. Last but not the least. Whenever possible, try to go with serverless model instead of traditional infrastructure. For example, instead of using Amazon Elastic Block Storage or Elastic File System to store static files like images, videos, etc., use Amazon S3. Another example could be use ECS Forget Task to run your Dockerized application. So that's all. In conclusion, there are several ways you can optimize cost in AWS. As I said, you can use right instance type, reserve instances, spot instances. You can go with auto scaling, free tiering, also turn off unnecessary instances, use cost optimization tools, also use the right storage class for US3 buckets, and you can get some discounts with data transfer as well, and also go with serverless model whenever possible. With this, you can save money and get the most out of your AWS services. So that's all. Thank you for watching my video and I hope this video was really helpful in understanding how to optimize cost within AWS accounts.